Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Ron Wills. Never give up on your dreams. You know, um, it was a motivational statement that was attributed to Winston Churchill. He said he was, uh, they said he was supposed to speak in front of a crowd, uh, college graduation, and he just got up and said, never, ever give up. And then he sat back down, (laughs) something like that. But it was very brief. You know what? Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. You know, dreams are important. You know, it's funny, right? I remember I was working on a very modest job, right? Very modest job. And it was really just a part-time job while I was uh, doing my publishing. And I remember somebody on the job had the nerve to call me a dreamer, right? You know, because of how I would talk. But this person didn't know this. It was an older woman, and she didn't know what else that I, she didn't know what else I did. Because when I was on this little uh, modest job, I didn't tell anybody I had a publishing company outside of it. And the only reason I was working on that modest job was just for extra money. And I've said it before. Um, you know, any entrepreneur knows that you have to. You might have to get a part-time job or even a full-time job to keep, money, you know, keep everything paid. You know, my brother had a family to take care of. So, you know, but anyway, I just looked at her. I just said, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I thought about that because over the years, and this is something I've known since I was little, right? I've seen plenty of people, they have a great dream to do stuff. A great dream. I mean, great ideas. Indeed, I remember a motivational uh, video I saw, a speech I heard, rather, where someone said, like, the greatest uh, collection of dreams and ideas and inventions is in a cemetery. Because many people, they go to their deaths without realizing their dreams, their ambitions, without even trying. I mean, imagine the world, what we would have now if people, everybody just went for what they knew, what they dreamed about. Imagine, I mean, no telling how many advanced machines, how many advanced techniques that would just benefit the human race now if people brought their dreams to the fore, right? Understand something, each and every person Listening to the sound of my voice was blessed with an idea, was blessed with a gift. When you're blessed with a gift, you are supposed to share that gift with the world. That's why you have that gift. And nothing is too small. Like your gift could be, your gift could be making flowers grow. Well, flowers are beautiful. Flowers are wonderful. You know, people use them for so many different things, romance, uh, marriages, uh, transitions, uh, shoot, just to have around the house, (laughs) you know? So somebody might have that gift or have a dream of being a florist. But then some people, they might make the mistake of listening to somebody who don't have that same vision or, you know, don't have, like, the love in their hearts to encourage somebody and say, no, don't do that. Go go work on this regular job and stuff. And somebody might go do that because, you know, it supposedly pays better and everything. But then that's one more person that's not bringing beauty to the world and could really do something. Because, look, let's be real. Let me use that florist example again, just that. You, you create flowers, you create a business, shoot, you stay in business. You stay, you stay in business because somebody's always going to need a flower for something. And that might be your talent. You might have a green thumb. You know, you could be that person who say, you know what? I don't want to work this office job. I just want to create a garden. I've read countless accounts of people taking maybe just just a half an acre of land and just growing stuff on it, just growing food and everything on it. Because hey, look, I don't care. I don't care what technology we get. I don't care what form of iPhone or smartphone is out there. People gotta eat, and you need those veggies. Your elders told you eat those veggies. Eat those veggies. But you need that. Food is major, especially you got a situation where you have significant parts of the world, they don't get enough food. Or people eating the bad food and stuff. Trust me, that food is from God's green earth. 
And if you have somebody who knows how to grow it, even on a small space, that's very key. And somebody might have that talent. You might have some people, you know, there's a talent, you know, you like I said, that green thumb. And it don't have to be that. Your talent could be singing. Yes, yeah, singing. Yeah, I know a lot of people, you know, you got all these stars out there, but you know what? Maybe maybe your vo- your talent is maybe just singing in a church. Seriously, your talent could be singing it, but once people leave, they feel so good. They feel filled with the spirit, you know, just by the sound of your voice. I mean, your singing could bring healing to someone, you know? And I and shoot, there's millions of gifts. There's billions of gifts because every single person got one. And they have a dream about doing something. But sometimes too many people give up on it. We can't have that. We can't have that. And I'm going to tell you what. Go for your dreams. Never give up on it. Now, this ain't to say you might not have to do something else to live every day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And you know what? Your particular dream might not bring a monetary value. Don't worry about that. But what it will do is make you feel good because you're doing what you're built to do. You're doing it. Think about that. It makes you feel good. So that's Trust me. If you feel good, trust me. Most sickness out here is from stress. If just following your dream just keeps you from being stressed or helps with any stress you got to do from maybe working a regular job or doing other stuff, shoot, that's all you need right there. But then think about if you can make yourself feel good, but then your dream is your dream impacts other people. That's a healing thing. That's a healing thing. And it might, you know what, it might not touch the entire planet. It don't need to. Maybe it just, your dream might be just to help your family, your loved ones, people that are in your circle. You know, it brings something. But even that, even that little bit brings something to the world. Your dream could be, your dream could be to uh, just raise your children. You know, I remember this woman um, I worked with, a small statured woman, um, and the spirit on her was just beautiful. Now, she just worked uh, as an office clerk, right? She worked as an office clerk. But her main dream, her main thing she wanted in life was really just to raise her children into responsible adults. And so this office clerk with the high school education she was doing so well in how she was raising her children that the principal of her child's school wanted to talk to her and just congratulate her and her children um, from last I heard all of them went to college and all of them went to do something great but that was her dream her dream was simply to be a good mom and there's nothing wrong with that dream because being a good mom she raised up children into adults who will go on and impact other people. That's how powerful it is. So no dream is too small. No desire is too small. But never give up on it. Never do it. Never do it. Well, if that same woman who raised four outstanding children said, you know what, before she even got there, say, you know, I just want to be a good mom, but something happened, she gave up on that dream. Maybe not even got married and had children. The world would have been short of four outstanding individuals who probably went on and had their own children, impacted other people. That's how deep it is. I don't care how small it is, how seemingly insignificant, because they don't fit into, you know, what society says is important. Screw that. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is, whatever your dream is. Go for it fully. Never give up on it. I know it's going to be tough. I don't care what it is. I know it's going to be tough. Because the world's trying to push you in a certain direction. But regardless, stick with it. Stay with it no matter what. Even if you got to put it down sometime, but come back to it. Do whatever you can. But never, ever give up on your dreams, okay? I want everybody to really meditate, pray, think about everything I said. And you know what? After you finish doing that, Go work on that dream, okay? Go work on that dream. Everyone have a uh, peaceful day. Keep rising and transforming. 